Hello, hello everyone. I hope you are all having an absolutely delightful day. I am very excited to bring in this update to my project pan. I have some empties, uh, most of which it was a surprise to me. So yay, I can't wait to share those. If you're unacquainted with what a project pan is, a project pan is trying to hit the bottom of your makeup product, namely the pan. So a lot of times these projects focus on hitting pan or on finishing things up. I love projects like these because it helps me like totally realize how long it takes to use up makeup. It can help, it can help to keep me from purchasing new things. It doesn't always work in all the categories like blush for instance, but it definitely helps me to keep from buying too many foundations, concealers, things like that. I do this project rolling style, which means that I reach a goal on something and then I roll something into its place. Before I get started, I have to tell you the tea of the day. This is so fantastic. This is from a brand called Three Leaf. That is what it looks like. And this is their coconut matcha. You guys know that I drink a lot of matcha, but I don't usually do like flavored matchas. For one thing, they often are quite expensive and I don't know, I just haven't been really drawn to them. But apparently this is Three Leaf's most popular, like number one selling blend. And I gotta tell you, it's like ultra creamy. I can't believe that, I don't know, something like 20 years ago, I didn't like the taste of coconut because now I'm really into it. Oh my gosh, it's very, very good. Highly recommend if you like coconut, this coconut matcha is fantastic. Okay, I always like to start with my empties. This is the one that surprised me because I just rolled this in last month. Granted, it is a mini, <laughs> but I still wasn't really expecting to finish it off in one month. There's still product in there, but it's only product I could reach if I took out the stopper. I only do that with products that I really, really like, and I really do not think that this Ilia lip oil is very good at all. <laughs> I'm really happy to have that out of my collection, but that is my first empty. Secondly, I literally just today finished this sunscreen from Make Prem. This is the Sun Essence SPF 50. I really, really enjoy this, but I am happy again to finish off another sunscreen and I'll be telling you at the end of the video what I'm rolling in. And lastly, this was my goal for the month of April. I really, really wanted to finish this off. There is a tiny little bit left in there, like less than a week of use. So before I actually put it in my empties bin, I will make sure and finish it completely up. For this, But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna count it as an empty so that I can show you what I'm going to roll in once this is gone. Like I said, it'll just be a few days and this will be gone. I'm honestly kind of happy about this. It's not wearing as well on me as it used to. So I'm happy to have this gone. So now that we've done empties, let's go through all the products I have progress on. So starting with my setting spray, I'm working on this one from Ciate London. This is the Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. It's a dewy setting spray. And look, I'm down almost to the bottom. Uh, my goal for May will be to finish this off. I do like to usually have like a goal product. This is May's goal and I really should not have a problem using it as long as I can remember. Sometimes I forget that this exists until like the last week of the month. I'm like, oh man, I just use it every day. <laughs> but I do think I should be able to finish this off in the month of May. Let's go ahead and use some right now. I put on this makeup quite a long time ago and I just kind of refreshed my lipstick, but I could use a refresher mist. My e.l.f. Well Brow, I think it's finally starting to dry up a little bit. I did have a little bit of a weight change. I'll put that on the screen, but I feel like I really kind of have to scrub my brush around in there to get the brush evenly coated with product. When I do that, I still get plenty of product. So there's at least a month worth of use in there, if not more. These things always surprise me with how long they can last. It's hard to know how close you are to finish these things off, but at least every month I have been seeing a weight change. So that makes me happy that there's at least something happening with this product. Let's get into some of my seasonal products. So when it comes to blush, bronzer, and highlighter, I like to rotate those in seasonally, and I usually give myself a specific goal for each one. Starting with bronzer, I've been working on this one for the last month. I have two months left with it, and I've been enjoying it a lot. <laughs> so this is the Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer from Flower Beauty. I have the shade Sunrise. My goal for this one is just to use it as much as I can. I didn't really give myself anything too specific. I know I won't be able to hit pan on it, but you can see the dome is getting flattened, although I don't think there's much of a difference from last month. If there is a difference, I'll put up the pictures. Otherwise, just no, there's no visible change. <laughs> there was a very small change, however, in the weight, which I'll put on the screen. And I did note every single time I use this. And last month I managed to use this 15 times, which I have to tell you, I was actually really impressed with that. I did not wear as much makeup last month. I did quite a bit of traveling. And while I always bring makeup with me and I have goals of wearing makeup while I travel, I often don't, which was the case this time. <laughs> I would think it was around a week where I wasn't really 
barely wearing anything. So the fact that I got 15 uses out of this last month really, really makes me happy, even though, you know, you can't really see a difference. But that's okay, I, I really enjoy this one. Next up, the highlighter, another item from Flower Beauty. So this is the Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. And again, there is like no physical change, even though when I use it, I do tend to put my finger like in the center of the product and I don't even really, I don't have a dip going at all. And I used this 12 times last month, which I think again is pretty good considering that I do also have Shop My Stash items that I rotate with, with highlighters. So the fact that I use this 12 times makes me happy. Um, my goal for this is pan. I only have two months left to do that and considering that I don't even have a dip in this yet, um, I'm not feeling super positive about that goal, but I'm just gonna keep continue using it as much as I can and I guess we'll see what happens. And the blush I've been working on, this one I do have a usage goal of 20 uses for the next three months. This is what it is looking like currently. There is not a dip or anything going on in this blush. Did I say what this is? This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in the shade Rosy. I only used this blush six times last month. I wore a lot of blush, but again, I have a lot of blush. I rotate in lots of different shades. And I think I mentioned this last month, but I'm going to say it again, that I have been trying to do better about matching my makeup to my clothes <laughs> instead of just wearing my Project Pan makeup no matter what I'm wearing. <laughs> so today, for instance, you know, I'm not wearing this blush, which is why it's been harder for me to reach my blush goals but six times you know it's a start on those 20 uses I have two months to make 14 more uses which I should be able to do moving on to lip liner I have been really frustrated by this surprisingly because I feel like I use it quite a bit but whenever I do use it I must use such a small amount that I haven't really had to sharpen it so I can't really show you a new mark so this is from Colourpop this is the lippy pencil which I literally chose this so that I would have something to show you each month, like substantial. I really wanted to finish another lip liner this year and these products are so creamy that I really thought this would go quickly. But I happened to choose a cool tone shade. The reason I did that was because I have several uh, liners kind of in this shade category. I really don't need that many. I thought maybe I could at least finish one off. The problem is when I use it, I'm just very lightly kind of contouring my lips. So it's not something I'm filling in my lips with and I definitely don't use it with every single product because it would look funny with certain products like this, for instance, I wouldn't use it with this. So because of that progress on this is frustratingly slow. I'm thinking I might just update you every few months on this considering that once a month it just there's just not much progress to show. I am gonna leave it in the project because I do wanna finish it, but yeah, I might not mention it for a few months. The lipstick I've been working on is from Wayne Goss. This is the Luxury Cream Lipstick in the shade Lily. This is how much is left, and I was able to make a new mark on this, which makes me so happy. I mean, it's a very, very small mark, but it's still a new mark, very exciting. So I have been wearing that both as a lipstick and as a cream blush this month, and it's actually really beautiful as a cream blush. It's a really pretty shade of pink. I had a goal of finishing off two lipsticks this year, considering that I'm at the beginning of May and I still have that much left. <laughs> I'm not feeling super positive about finishing two lipsticks this year. I know I'll be able to finish, at least I think I'll be able to finish this <laughs> this year. Two might be stretching it, but I'm, I'm gonna keep Plugging along for lip balm. Last month I rolled in this first aid, no, not, not first aid beauty. <laughs> what is the, the fourth ray beauty? It's starting to wear off, so now I can never remember what this is called. Fourth ray beauty lip mask. This is the one from the Avatar collection in the scent. I was in shade in the scent, <laughs> Jasmine Tea. So I made a pretty big dent. I know it can be kind of hard to see, but there's a big divot in there. I've been using it every morning and every evening. I actually was surprised at the texture of this. I thought it was a little bit more, I don't know, of a whipped texture. I'm not sure why I thought that, but this is more like a hard balm. So this will take even longer than I thought <laughs> to use up this whole pot. Thankfully, I'm enjoying it. And I'm pretty happy with that first month's worth of usage. I do have progress to share on my Laura Mercier caviar stick. Again, not something I can wear every day. I was hoping I would use it more as a base, but it turns out that I tend to use it more as a one, on, one and done on days where I'm wearing cool tone clothes and I just don't have time to do more eyeshadow, <laughs> which was a decent amount of times this month. So this is how much is left. This is the shade Au Natural. And again, there's a very small difference, but there is a difference there to share. So that's encouraging. Another product that is taking me long 
longer than I thought to finish, but I'm, I really enjoy this product. I'm going to keep it in. I have been working on an eyeliner, this one from Pixi. It's beautiful. It's a really nice shade. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen. So that's how much I have left. And here I have my new marking. So I didn't use it as much last month as I did the month before, which makes sense considering that I didn't wear as much makeup this month. So at least I did make a little bit of progress. Nothing too exciting there. And then lastly, my hand cream. I was here last month and now I'm down to there. So I'm getting down to the bottom of this product. Again, not too exciting, but nice steady progress on that one. Now we get to the fun part, which is Roland's. So for the new sunscreen that I'm gonna be working on, I'm gonna work on this one from Bliss. I really, really like this product. I've actually never tried anything else like it. I heard that there's another very popular sunscreen that's very, very similar. I think it's from Australian Gold. Um, this is the very first matte mineral sunscreen I've ever tried that actually worked for me. Um, I really, really like this product. You can get it at Target. It does have a little bit of a tint, but nothing too, too crazy. That's what it looks like there on my skin tone. But this does expire in October of this year, so I figured I better use it up this summer, especially since it's matte. This is something I will definitely want more this summer. I'll be so excited to reach for that often. Next, the foundation I'm rolling in to replace the Tower 28. I'm gonna roll in my Essence Pretty Natural Foundation. I have never stopped enjoying this foundation. I really think it's great, but Essence discontinued it. <laughs> Why, Essence? Why? I think in some places you can still buy some of the shades. They're just selling out of the stock, I think, and then I don't think it's coming back. Really, really sad, but I'm about right there. So I've actually used a lot of this product naturally over the course of its life with me, but now I'm going to focus and use up this much, hopefully. I'm actually really not sure how long it will take. I've been wearing less foundation lately, like still wearing it, but just less of it. And this is one of those products that it's a squeezy tube and it'd be kind of hard to figure out exactly how much you want or how much to squeeze out on the back of your hand or whatever. Like I feel like I always squeeze out too much, but I think it'll be at least a couple of months of consistent use to finish this off, which that will be exciting. My goal is to finish two foundations a year. If I finish this by July, I'll be ecstatic because that would be my second foundation already. And then gloss. I'm gonna focus on this one from Tower 28. This technically was already in the project. I kind of had it on like a back burner of whatever I wanted a warm toned gloss. This is the one I've been working on. So you can see I've already been marking it <laughs> from the beginning of the year, but I really like this and I don't want it to go bad. So I decided I'm just gonna roll this in and work on it exclusively. So that's where I'm going to start. And honestly, these tend to go pretty quickly for me once I uh, start to focus on it. I have never used up a full size of this, however. I've always just had minis, so I'm interested to see how long it will take me. It'll be at least a couple of months with how much is left in there, but I will enjoy every second of it. I love this formula. All right, goals for the month of April, definitely to finish off this setting spray. Maybe I can finish off this hand cream too. That would be good. And everything else just to get consistent use on. Thank you guys so much for watching. How is your project planning going this year? Have you had any exciting empties lately? Make sure and let us all know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and following along with my panning journey. I will see you again very soon in my next one. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.